Hi, it's Barry Young. I want to talk to you today about tap fluids. Fluids for tapping holes. In aluminum, which most of us use in our amateur shops, you can get away tapping with tapping stuff dry. And then your tap gets duller and duller and all of a sudden, snap. It's that sound that we all hate. Anybody ever heard that before? It's a terrible feeling. You get that adrenaline rush and you know you got to dig that tap out of there and it's going to be a lot, lot more work than just going down and buying some 10 weight oil at the Ace Hardware or wherever. That works good for most things. There's a lot of fancy liquid tap uh, liquids out there and I find that 10 weight oil works just as well as all of the fancy expensive tapping fluids that I've used. There are some exceptions. Um, in aluminum, I use beeswax. It's cheap. It's good for a million different things. You can use it as a flux when you're casting bullets. You can use it as a tapping fluid for uh, aluminum. Just rub some into the tap like that. You're good to go. This tap probably won't break in aluminum. If you're tapping harder materials, you need to step it up a notch. This stuff is called bow lube or anchor lube or accu lube. It's a wax type stuff. If you can find it, which you can't anymore, there was an old product uh, called anchor lube, but it was made of whale oil. So that became politically incorrect. This stuff was amazing. I mean, it was totally slippery. Put it on, I've never ever broken a tap when using this old whale stuff. But you can't find it anymore. The new synthetic uh, Accu Lube, Anchor Lube, Bow Lube, whatever, uh, works just about as well, but not quite as well. This is a liquid Anchor Lube, and it's the only thing that I've found for tapping titanium that really, really works, except for one other thing that I'll show you. Uh, just Poke it in the hole, so don't have to fill up the hole, just a little bit will do you, and that'll keep you from busting taps. This stuff is a paste called Jockish. Of course, uh, we called it something else in the machine shop, which escapes me now. But you just rub this stuff onto the tap, and all of a sudden it just slides in and out of titanium like nobody's business. I've even tapped Inconel with this stuff, which if if you know about Inconel, nothing will allow you to tap an Inconel. This is the only thing I've ever seen that's slippery enough to deal with Inconel. So, that's pretty much a guide of tap fluids that I had on hand today. Uh, if you get in a jam, you can use vegetable oil. Uh, bacon fat works. Uh, and if you're out of those, you can always go to the store and get some uh, condensed milk. Condensed milk works as a uh, tapping fluid much better than you think. You can also use it for turning or milling. Anyway, thank you very much. I hope you learned something about tapping fluids. And uh, don't break those taps. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see free project plans, tips, and tricks for the amateur machinist, please visit projectsandmetal.com. And if you're interested in additional videos, go ahead and visit the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash projectsandmetal. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thanks.